Welcome to introduction to Q trading system, 19th March, 2017. I am Sagan Nandi, the chief analyst and trader at Superior Profit, a company registered in Singapore. This is the first of a series of webinars where we will go through different aspects of Superior Profit way and Q trading system spanning more than six hours in total. It is customary for the presenter to introduce himself or herself, but I will not take time for that. Instead, if you are interested, you could visit our website and then go to the About menu. And you can find out more about myself, the company, and more importantly, how you can use superior profit way in your own trading. Before we begin, let's go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. In today's topic, we will have a quick look at the kind of result that is possible from successful trading using superior profit way and Q system. Then we will look at different aspects of superior profit way, broad market analysis, sector, industry analysis, and of course, technical analysis using Q trading system. We'll see why we call it a complete, unambiguous, easy CUE or Q trading system. This system is used by many traders who share their trade ideas with each other and sometimes with public in our traders community. I'll explain how you can access and use that. Then summarize with all the trading resources and education center material that Superior Profit has put together for you. Q&A is throughout the session. You may feel free to ask questions using the Q&A panel. I will keep an eye on the panel and try to answer as many questions as I can as I go along. And for sure, by the end of the session, I will address all the questions that you raise. Now let's have a look at the kind of result that is possible. Superior profit way is proven as seen from publicly posted trade ideas, 300 to almost 500 percent profit was obtained in each of the first four months when superior profit community was started. All of these were simple option trades, either put or call in USA market. Since then, trade ideas cover multiple countries, instruments and styles. As of current time, the trade ideas are also shared before the results are known. They continue to have positive performance. Let's go through the result of the trades in the first four months. You can access it from the home page result menu. Of the first four months that we started tabulating the result in January 2015, 
total of 492% profit was made, 14 trades were taken, 12 trades were profitable. All were option trades using stocks or options in USA market. It shows the date that the trade was taken and the profit or the lost loss that was achieved. You can click on any of the hyperlinks to go to the actual trade. It will go to either the community trade idea that was posted or a detailed blog explaining the trade. In February, 401% profit was made in 11 trades, 10 of them were profitable. In March, only five trades were posted in the trade idea. All trades were profitable. And in the fourth month, April, 300% profit was achieved, seven total trades, all trades were profitable. We can click on any of them. And it will go to the actual trade that was posted starting from the initial post, in this case, April 23rd, and then following up with subsequent results. For many of the trades, brokerage snapshot was also attached. So this trade using UNH, United Health, an insurance company in USA, 70% profit was achieved using a put option. The instrument was UNH 150522, that is May 22, put option with strike 115. You may go through these trades later to see how the trades were taken using a few simple technical patterns. And we will discuss these technical patterns in these and subsequent webinars in more detail. Now, how was this result achieved? It was achieved using superior profit way it is a way to invest and trade profitably and consistently by combining technical analysis with broad market, sector, industry, and even fundamental analysis as required. All of these analysis is done in a visual, easy to understand, and unambiguous manner. This can be used both as a top-down approach, starting from broad market analysis and going down to the stock level, or a bottom-up approach, starting from a stock, maybe identified using the Q trading system, Sonar, or Explorer in Metastock, and then going through successive higher analysis layers of industry sector, and then broad market analysis. Our traders, Sometimes use the top-down approach and sometimes use the bottom-up approach. You may use any of them or both of them as you feel comfortable. In terms of broad market analysis, studying internals of broad market may reveal insight about the market's health that is not available from studying the index or ETF alone like SPX or SPY for USA market. In terms of broad market analysis, every week, we analyze the broad market by reviewing the NASDAQ Composite Index and the NYSE Composite Index, both using weekly interval, and then studying three of the market internals. At the top is the new high-low, the total number of stocks making new high 
minus the total number of stocks making new low. Advanced decline, the total number of stocks advancing minus the total number of stocks declining. And up down volume, total volume of all the stocks going up minus total volume of all the stocks going down. Just like analyzing the internals of a person may reveal insight that is not available from looking at the person externally, this internal broad market analysis may reveal insight that is not available by looking at the index alone. Both the indices, as we can clearly see, is making new highs and new lows for a long time. They are in confirmed uptrend. However, if we look at the internals, the internals are not able to keep up. They are making lower highs for several of the internal studies. This shows that though the market is continuing to go up, internally the market is not as strong as it appears from the index or ETF alone. Now two points we make about this internal study. Firstly, it is more useful for longer term investment. We may not use it for day trading and maybe even careful about applying it for swing trading. However, for long term investment, understanding the market internals is of great use. If we look at the current market, we see the market is at very high level. However, the internals are weak. So this probably will not be the time where we will start loading up on long term investments. Except if there was an industry group which was moving opposite to the market, that is when the market was going up, the industry group was moving down, then we may look for long term buy opportunity in such industry group. However, in general, when the market is at so high level, making all time highs, However, the internals are weaker. This is not the appropriate time in superior profit way to start buying stocks for long term investment. So every week we post this analysis with a summary comment at the top to explain superior profits view of market internals. From market internal, we drill down to sector and industry analysis. Superior profit sector industry analysis is probably the deepest sector and industry analysis and ranking that is available anywhere in the internet. Again, every week, we do detailed analysis on sector and industry and share it at our website. In terms of sector analysis, we look at 10 broad market sectors starting from basic materials to healthcare. Look at their performance and rank them from one to 10. One being the top performer and the 10 being the worst performer sector for the review period. We do this analysis across eight distinct time periods starting from five days to 10 days, one month, all the way over last six month period. And then we apply a heat map to the sector ranking, Cyan to rank one, 10, Magenta to rank 10, and a color gradient to all the ranks in between. What is the result? 
we have a sector ranking and heat map table that at a glance in an instance tells us which sector is strong basic materials as of 18th march which one is weak healthcare with rank 10 and on top of that which sector was week before rank 10 magenta color and improved a little bit in the current period changing the color from solid magenta to a color in between magenta and cyan with rank 7 and we can also see which sector was strong technology was ranking one with cyan color for several review periods and in the current period turned slightly magenta with a rank of five the analysis that we do for sectors we do it at a much deeper level for the industry groups covering 160 industry groups for long-term investment we tend to say that this is almost mandatory for a superior profit investor so if i am looking for a long-term investment opportunity my first step could be to look for an industry group which was weak for a long period of time magenta and then starting to show signs of strength changing color to cyan like retail rate real estate investment trust in the latest review period my next step would be to look for strong fundamentally fundamentally strong stocks in such an industry group i use meta stock zenith for that you could use zenith or any other tool you have available to find such stocks and the third step would be to find optimal entry point buy point for those stocks using q sonar that is explorer in metastar i will go through q sonar later in this and subsequent sessions for swing trading also we like to use this industry analysis for example if i am looking for a swing long trade I would like to take it in an industry group which is strong like gambling ranking one in the current review period or at least changing color from magenta to cyan could be real estate holding and development similarly if i am looking to take a swing short trade i would like to take that shot in a stock whose industry group is magenta say pipelines or at least turning magenta from cyan like healthcare you can probably understand that by combining broad market sector and industry analysis in this way along with technical analysis aligns more and more edges to our trades favor thereby resulting in a profitability and consistency that is not usually found from technical trading alone at the heart of superior profit way is of course the q trading system we call it a complete system because it can be used for trading and investing in all major countries and exchanges using multiple instruments stocks options futures forex etc and in different styles swing trading long term investing and day trading the technique that we use for long term investing swing trading and day trading are different as i mentioned the broad market internal analysis is 
more applicable to the long term investing as is the industry analysis we would not like to use the broad market internal or industry analysis for day trading on the other hand also in terms of indicators that we use for day trading we use only zero lag indicators whereas for swing trading and long term investing we use indicators that allows us an optimal entry while at the same time not resulting in frequent whipsaws so the indicators are different as well as the techniques are different for short term medium and long term trading we will cover these aspects in more detail specially related to swing trading in these and subsequent webinars there is a question from an anonymous viewer what are the top 3 or 5 parameters you use to choose fundamentally strong stocks in a strong industry are those parameters different for day swing or long term trading as i explained for day trading which are opened and closed on the same day and which is traded both in the long side and the short side looking at the fundamental of the stock in my view doesn't add any edge to the trades favor because we are talking about the very short term movement intraday movement of the stock fundamentals can affect a stock's performance over much longer term but not definitely on an intraday time frame one exception could be the earnings day in superior profit way we don't like to initiate new positions on the earnings day for a particular stock so for swing trading for, for day trading we don't need to look at fundamentals in superior profit way however at the other extreme for long term investment long term buy positions we would like to certainly buy stocks which are fundamentally strong at the same time we look for stocks which have fallen because the industry group has fallen out of favor for example when gold as a commodity drops many of the gold mining stocks will drop as well under gold mining using meta stock zenith we can find a number of stocks in different exchanges if we are trading in america we can find the number of gold mining stocks listed and trading in traded in america the same we could do for australia canada or even smaller countries in gold mining like indonesia malaysia etc once we find them we could look for fundamentally strong stocks though they have fallen down in price one thing that i like to look for is whether they have capacity to continue running in business even if there is a downturn in the overall industry group that means their debt is not high or in more specific terms their ability to service their debt should be high or at least reasonable i can find such stocks from meta stock zenith and then make a check make a watch list of them and then run q sonar on them on a regular basis to identify an optimal entry point now you may note that when a stock has fallen a lot that is the point we like to initiate a long term buy position in a stock the other fundamentals like eps or even revenue may calm down from what it used to be at the stocks highest price level that is normal we wouldn't expect a stock which has fallen a lot even if it is because of industry being out of favor 
when it is at the low price, we wouldn't expect its earnings to be very high relative to its top earnings per share. That is acceptable in our view. So long as the stock is strong, is a large company, well-managed company, we are happy to take a long trade for long-term investment in that stock. For swing trading, on average, Q swing trades last for about five days. Again, it is not that important to look at fundamental data like revenue, earnings, or debt servicing ratio if the trade is spanning only five days period. What we do instead is take the swing trade in a stock whose industry group is showing strength for a buy position and whose industry group is showing weakness for a short position. By doing that, we are able to align more and more edges, both for long-term investing and swing trading in our way. Let's continue with the other aspects of the Q trading system. E in Q stands for easy to use trading system. In Q trading system, every indicator is consistently color coded and they are intentionally designed to look different. They are so easy to read that we don't even use label to read the indicators. We in fact don't have any label of the indicators in our chart templates. There is no need to set any parameters. No need to decide which threshold to use like you would do for RSI, Stochastic, MACD or other ready-made indicators available. And there is also no need to try to identify the convergence or divergence which is often confusing and misleading. If you think of it, if you use a trading system where one needs to set parameters, thresholds, and look for convergence, divergence, if we gave such a trading system to two different traders and look at the same stock at the same time, they would probably use slightly or maybe even largely different setting of the indicators, resulting in slightly different outlook of the stock at the same time. One of them may come up with a bullish outlook and the other trader could come up with a bearish or neutral outlook. That is not an easy to use trading system. If you have used indicators that need parameters, you have also probably spent hours, if not days, trying to find out the optimal value of the settings in different markets and for different styles of trading. When we designed Q system, we wanted to make it simple initially for ourselves and now for other Q traders. And therefore, we came up with a list of indicators that are robust and that adjusts themselves according to the current market condition. We didn't stop there the indicators are combined to form Q templates, and we have designed one template for each of the specific tasks in trading. We have one template called Q hop on template for entering a trade, Q hop off template for exiting a trade, and there are other templates for option trading, for long-term investment, for day trading, etc. Let me take a moment to run my meta stock and open the Q trading system and point to these indicators.
you will see that the chart templates q templates have many indicators in them but because they are consistently color coded just by looking at them in a minute or less you can identify whether the chart is bullish or bearish or neutral not only in the middle of the chart but more importantly at the right edge of the chart let's open a stock tesla using one of the q templates as i mentioned this hop on template is used for entering a trade hop off template for exiting a trade backdrop for longer term weekly view of the chart same for line chart with weekly interval and additional templates are available pendulum template again for long term investment option trading template with few more indicators like volatility indicators related to option trading and then very different templates for intraday interval fine tune 5 minute template and power tune 5 minute template for entering and exiting day trades or for precision entry of swing trades if we open tesla using hop on template we can see there are several indicators visually speaking they are grouped into two different categories one is a set of line indicators which are drawn as lines on the chart for them all we need to do is to decide whether the line is going up which is bullish or going down which is bearish sideways will be neutral then we have a set of indicators which are not drawn as lines they may be drawn as bars as dots as diamond or as up arrow down arrow as you can see in other templates here we are looking at the clean chart template and we can see that the bear release or the bull release are drawn as down arrow and up arrow respectively for the non line indicators all we need to do is to decide the color of the indicator red indicates bearish green or cyan indicates bullish magenta also indicates bearish magenta and red indicates bearish green and cyan indicates bullish and yellow represents neutral neutral color so irrespective of whether we are looking at a line indicator or a non line indicator it is extremely easy to read the indicators on q charts and we have combined them into ready made templates one designed for a specific task in trading 
you don't need to try to create any new templates. We have one template for every need of a trader, be it long-term investment, swing trading or day trading. Probably you will not take more than a minute to decide whether a chart is bullish or bearish. And after you use Q system for a week or so, most of our traders will be able to do that in 10 seconds. There is also commentary that is Metastock feature that is available that reads the chart in a natural language fashion. So if we go back to the hop on template, and for a moment, I would like to change the stock to JP Morgan. We can open the commentary. and it will read all the charts indicators in a natural language fashion. At the top, it explains the use of the template. It is a hop on template, primary template for swing trade entry, primary template for longer term trade entry as well, and secondary template for day trade entry. It is designed for daily chart. And we have indeed opened it with daily interval in this case. We are looking at JP Morgan daily chart as of Friday, 17th March, 2017. At the top, it summarizes the finding of Q system. In this case, as of Friday, and in fact, it is calculated throughout the day. So even before market close, US market closes at 4 p.m. So at 3.30 p.m., if you opened Q chart and looked at the commentary, it would have the same summary comment saying, go with flow trend following short trade may be taken on JP Morgan, provided following are true. Daily chart is in confirmed downtrade with lower high and lower low, which was true in this case in the short term. The last daily candle is not bullish. It is not bullish because it is a solid candle. In candlestick reading, we know solid candle is bearish and hollow candle is bullish. So in this case, we have a not bullish, rather bearish candle. And third requirement, reward risk ratio is acceptable in daily chart. I will come back to that in a minute. And also in higher time frame, that is weekly, if this is daily chart, backdrop candle color is to be bearish or magenta. So we are, what we are doing effectively is doing a multi-dimensional analysis for swing trading, both on weekly interval and daily interval to decide whether technically the stock is bearish to take a swing trade. It also says there is no signal for headwind trend reversal trade. So we have talked about two trade types. One is a go with flow, which is a trend following, and then a headwind, which is a trend reversal. These are two of the four standard trade setups we have. I will go through them in more detail in this and subsequent webinars. Continuing with the commentary, after the summary comment, it goes on analyzing the trend of the chart and then reads all the essential indicators one by one. For example, it says in superior profit system, the trend is decided using fast direction magenta and standard direction cyan line, which are this magenta and cyan lines. JPM is closing below fast direction, this is bearish. It is also closing below standard direction, bearish. Also fast direction line is pointing downward, bearish. Standard line is also pointing downward, bearish. 
all signals are aligned and JPM is moving down. To be in confirmed downtrend, JPM needs to have lower high and lower low. You may look at the candle chart to find this out. We have already found that out by looking at the candle chart. In terms of reading the individual indicators, it goes through all the essential indicators and says, like in this case, traffic light candle color is red, bearish, only short trade is allowed. Traffic light candle color is presented in the top ribbon and it is red or bearish on the last day. JPM is between upper and lower boundary lines. This allows a trade if the reward risk ratio is acceptable, so on and so forth. I will not go through the entire commentary because there are multiple indicators that are interpreted in a natural language fashion, but you may open it anytime on any stock in any time frame. For day trading, I explained we use very different indicators and techniques. The templates are different and those templates are also read out in a natural language fashion in its commentary. I have a question from Luther. Does the chart compare the current chart to the longer term chart as listed as a condition? I was going to come to that. We have created different charts for different time intervals. So for intraday time interval, we have very different indicator also and charts also. For daily chart, we have indicators which are different and for longer term weekly, we have created a different template with some different indicators. Let me close commentary. If we remember the commentary said that for a short trade, the daily chart is all right. All the required conditions are met. How far we need to see in the longer time frame, weekly in this case, is the chart bearish as well. For doing that, we can apply the weekly backdrop template and I have customized everything on my menu. So I can just click on one of the menu options and the JP Morgan stock is now drawn using the weekly backdrop template. And if you remember the checklist in the commentary, it asked to see whether the weekly candle, the last candle is bearish or not. In all our chart templates, all the indicators, magenta or red indicates bearish. So backdrop color is bearish in this case. In other words, if we look at weekly and daily, for JP Morgan using backdrop and hop on template respectively, we see bearish signal in both of them and we can unambiguously decide to take a go with flow short trade. Weekly backdrop template has its own commentary. At the top, it mentions that we are looking at backdrop template, which is secondary template for swing trade and also secondary template for long term designed for weekly chart. You see there is no mention of day trading for this template. Day trading is closed and entered on the same day and weekly interval is too wide an interval to be used for such intraday trading. That is why the commentary tells that it is used for swing and long term but not for day trading. It is designed for weekly chart and we are looking at it using weekly chart. This ensures that we are using the template for the interval for which it was designed. We are looking at JPM as March 17, 2017. 
and the summary comment at the top states that JPM weekly chart backdrop candle color is magenta bearish. This supports taking a go with flow trend following short trade provided hop on the other daily template we just looked at. On a daily time frame also signals the short trend. Additionally, if there is a memory line immediately below JPM in this chart, then one may refrain from taking a short trade. But there is no memory line immediately below the weekly candle. Memory lines are extremely smart, automatically drawn trend lines. For example, here, the green support trend line, which can come for a few days back, like in this case. But in other cases, it may come from a few years back. And if the support line is very close, we would not like to take a short trade. If the resistance memory is too close, we would not like to take a long trade. Coming back to the commentary, just like in case of hop on chart, it looks at trend analysis on weekly chart and then looks at few key indicators on the weekly interval. In the beginning, when a trader starts using Q system for first one week or so, they may look at the commentary. But after that, I have not seen anybody opening the commentary at all. That is because you can look at the two charts now and just looking at the right edge, if everything is red or magenta, you immediately know that it is bearish, both in daily and weekly chart. And later on, we will see we have an ambiguous checklist for these trade setups, like trend following go with flow. Using them, we could easily decide to take a trade or not to take a trade without looking at the commentary. Let me look at some of the questions. Anonymous asked, green candle is bullish with respect to red candle. So what does the solid grid candle versus hollow green candle represent? Good question. Let me answer that. In our candle chart, we have two different aspects. One is the shape of the candle and one is the color of the candle. If the shape of the candle is hollow, like in this case, that means opening price was at the bottom, at the base and closing was at the ceiling. So a hollow candle indicates that on that day, price opened lower and closed higher. Whereas a solid candle indicates that price opened higher and closed lower for the day. Sometimes the candle has upper tail, like in this case, indicating that price tried to go up, but then probably bears took control and pushed price down. So we say if a candle is with upper tail, the shape is bearish. On the other hand, if a candle has a lower tail in terms of shape, it is bullish. Now this reading of candle shape is based on only that day's price move from open to close. Whereas the color of the candle is decided by Q calculations, which are different for different chart templates. If we go back to backdrop template for one minute, we will see the color coding of the backdrop weekly chart is very different from that of daily chart. And that is what I mentioned as being done intentionally during the design stage. Just by looking at the charts, I can tell or you can tell which templates template it is because not only the indicators are different, the templates are also designed differently. Coming back to the daily chart, 
the color coding in this Hopon template is using a calculation that we called flow color. Flow color means green is bullish, red is bearish, yellow is neutral. This is different from the shape of the candle, which is based on one day price move. And the flow color is based on longer term price swings. When the stock is going up, cyan indicates the op optimal long entry point. And when we think the stock is going down, magenta indicates the optimal short entry point. So if we are thinking of taking a long trade here, we can run sonar and the stock will be identified exactly on this candle and we will like to initiate a buy position here and not on subsequent days. Because every day passes by, JPM is moving higher and our profit target being same, the upper boundary, our potential reward is reducing, whereas our stop loss, which is below the recent low using hop off template, the risk is gradually going up. That is why for entering a swing long trade, go with flow setup, we would like to enter the trade on the cyan color. That is how the flow candle coloring is to be used for swing trading. And for every template, we have different coloring of the candles with different names. Weekly chart uses backdrop coloring and daily chart uses flow coloring. Similarly, we may find different coloring for pendulum template, option template, etc. Okay, I'm looking at the question and answer. Another question along the same lines, what is the difference between solid red and hollow red? Okay, I think I answered that. Sol solid and hollow reflects that particular day's price move and the flow color in this case, daily hop on template red is bearish. It is using more calculations and over longer period, not just that particular candle's price move. Okay, let's continue. So we have created these chart templates, which can be used for a specific task and then we have designed trade setups. I mentioned two of them, go with flow and headwind. We have two more for swing trading. And we have created Explorer in Metastock, which we call Sonar to identify potential trade of all types. So let me quickly point to that. If we go to Power Console and go to Explorer, you will find all the Q Explorers if we are looking for a trend following long, we would like to run the queue, go with flow long explorer. And for swing short, trend following, we will run go with flow short. Similarly, for trend reversal, we will use headwind long or short. For sideways market, we will use box long or short. And for exhausting market, we'll look at bounce long or short. So we have different market conditions, trend following, reversing, exhausting, and sideways. For each of them, we have created distinct and only one trade setup. Go with flow for trending, headwind, for reversing, etc., and created an explorer for each of them. So if you are trying to take a swing trade, all you need to ask yourself is whether the market you are looking at, say JP Morgan in this case, it seems to be going down or not. If so, we need to run only go with flow short sonar. Incidentally, this magenta diamond, this is the headwind signal. This is a trend reversing signal. And in this case, as we can see after the headwind came, 
price couldn't go up but the signal itself is not enough to take a trade there is a checklist for headwind reversal trade just as it is there for trend following go with flow if the checklist conditions are met then a headwind short trade could be taken right on this day coming back to the presentation so we have indicators which are easy to read combine them into chart templates one for each each of the trading tasks like entry exit and then we have explorer or sonar in metastorm and we have looked at the commentary function as well now if you follow our discussion on indicators line and non line and how the non line indicators are consistently color coded you have realized that each indicator can be read in an unambiguous manner that is no need to worry about what parameter what threshold to set whether to look at convergence divergence just looking at the color of the non line indicator and the direction of line indicators we know whether it is bullish or bearish and then a few of them are combined into an unambiguous checklist one for each of the trade setups and let me point you to that unambiguous trade setup you can go to education swing trading and we have put together the unambiguous checklist one for each of the trade setups i will quickly go through the go with flow let's go to the go with flow short setup like we have in jpm now identify the trend lower high lower low also check that the current candle is bearish it was true and it can be decided unambiguously the candle was solid in this case wait for price to come up to top of the swing and till down with flow candle color magenta that was also true the last candle in jpm was magenta sorry see that the stock is going down faster than broad market how to check that relative performance is tilting down which is this copper color line and it was true for jpm see that the reward risk is acceptable and ensure weekly tailwind that is weekly backdrop color is magenta we have already checked the backdrop color to be magenta for reward risk ratio we just look at it visually we need to see where we are entering the trade that is the current price level where is our stop just above the recent high the exact position can be identified using the q hop off template and what is the target the next support line which is the ascending yellow direction line or also the lower boundary so just by visually looking at it we can see that the risk is acceptable relative to the reward just by visually once you use the q charts for one week or so you can do it in less than one minute as does all our traders so all the checklist conditions are met for jpm and the point i was trying to make is that we can make that decision unambiguously not only in the middle but very important for real life trading at the right edge of the chart using the unambiguous indicators which are combined into a checklist for each of the trade setups we have similar unambiguous checklist for headwind reversal trade box for sideways market and bounce for exhausting market and for each of them we have a long checklist and a short checklist okay there is a question and from anonymous uh, after 
calculating the checklist as i explained i am assuming l calculating in superior profit way if we take a short trade can the stock go up has it happened that it did not follow downtrend of course it happens we are looking at a chart and using the calculation trying to take a trade in the current direction which seems to be downward direction for a short term swing trade for jpm but that doesn't mean we are controlling the market surely i am not controlling the market so tomorrow can jpm go up on monday yes it can go up we don't control that but if it goes up we have a stop loss that is decided by hop off template we will exit the trade with small loss in that case when i showed the result of the trades the option trades in the early four months when the community started there were several trades which made loss also not many but there are few trades and in that case we need to know where to put stop loss and our stop loss will be just above the recent high for a short trade the exact location can be found using the q hop off template and in this case the stop will be using the q protection line cyan for a short trade magenta would have been used when we entered a long trade in the same stock at this flow bullish that is cyan color so before entering a trade we would like to know where we are entering the short position where we are planning to take stop loss if it goes against us and where we are going to take profit and we do that visually and if the reward is not acceptable relative to the risk we don't take the trade the checklist ensures that we are not risking more than a dollar to make 1 dollar profit and if we have more than 50% success rate then the trades will make profit overall what kind of success rate is achievable you may look at the result page that i shared and click through to drill down to the trades to see the result that is possible of course those who are using option trades for stock trading the profits will be lower the risk is lower as well actually every time somebody asks a question it is best that i try to answer during the session i hope you are okay if it takes a little bit more time because of that because everybody can benefit from the questions and the more we interact the more we learn from each other so uh, it's okay for me if it has gone slightly beyond the time that we schedule for and i need a while more probably to finish today's session but that is okay with me and i hope you are okay sticking along for a little longer there is a question where are the results page where is the results page it is on the menu you can go to the result page these are the trades that were listed and taken and only these trades were posted it's not any only the good ones are shown not like that all the trades that were posted in community in those four months are listed and you can click through caterpillar in this case and it will go to the trade that was posted sometimes traders also use zenith so in this case they looked at caterpillar which has fallen a lot the yellow line relative to s&p 500 and in our way usually we will try to look for long position when a stock has fallen sometimes we may short also but i don't know okay yeah it is it was a long term stock buy suggestion 
So you can go through these trades. They provide confidence to a new technical trader, but they also act as a tremendous repository of disciplined trades for traders of all experiences. Also under result, there are two sub menus, USA trade show, India trade show. These are nothing but a number of slides summarizing the trades in a single slide. And if you click on the slide, let me pause it for this page. If you click it, it will again go to a trade that was shared in the community. In this case, March 10, 2015. In this case, it was on Adani Power using Headwind, that is the reversal trade setup short. So you may look at the result in terms of percentage drill down, and you can also look at a single chart view in terms of slideshow how the trade was taken. Specifically for this trade, because we chanced upon this, let me go through the summary. There was 50% profit in one trading day in Adani Power, it's a large power company in India using stock option, specifically Adani March 55 put, March 2005, I think, 2015, 55 put was used. It was a swing trade. It was a headwind that is reversal setup and direction was short. And as I mentioned earlier, the headwind signal comes at the top, usually at the top of market move of multiple swings and indicates whether we are allowed to take a short trade in this case, not only the headwind signal appeared, I can see the candle flow color also turned magenta, which is bearish. The trade was taken using option, and you can see by one day it fell enough uh, to give 50% trade using option. That is not uncommon. For a candle move of this type, 50% profit using monthly option is not uncommon. By the way, India doesn't have any weekly option, at least it was not there in 2015. So all the India option trades are using monthly option. For US market also, superior profit guideline is to use monthly option for swing trading. For day trading, one may use weekly options, but for swing trading, we like to have enough number of days in hand before expiry so that time decay is not enough. That is, I am talking of only buying put or buying call, not about shorting put, shorting call, vertical, etc. But if we are buying simply put or call, which has time decay for swing trading, we'd like to have enough time in hand till expiry, thereby using only monthly options. We are all new. We are all new. So I'm looking at the uh, Q&A. Uh, even if some of us are having a little bit more experience than others, it doesn't matter. The more we repeat, something happens inside the brain. The neural networks get set up and we become more and more disciplined. The superior profit way is very strong because it aligns broad market sector industry with technical trading. The technical charts are itself very easy to use and powerful, but at the end of the day, we also need discipline to follow the system. And the more we talk about the way we trade and more we talk about the same thing repeatedly, it gets ingrained into our brain and we become more disciplined. That is my experience. So it is perfectly all right if we ask more questions and even repeat the same thing multiple times. Let me continue back. To the PowerPoint. So we have gone through the checklist already for each of the trade setups. We have created an unambiguous checklist, which helps us decide the trade at the right side. And we have four market conditions. Already I have covered them. Trending. Let me draw them one more time.
trending market where a st stock goes with successive higher highs and higher lows. A sideways market where the highs and lows are approximately at the same level. In case of trending market, we wait for price to come down and just tilt up and catch the trade near the bottom. Put stop loss just below low and try to book profit at upper boundary or a memory resistance, which is at the top of the swing. In case of sideways move, we again let the stock go down and just tilt up to give us a low risk entry and try to book profit somewhere in the middle or at the high point of the sideways move. We could also take a short trade in case of sideways move, letting the stock go up and just tilt down at the top, take a low risk entry at that point. For a reversal trade, we wait for price to show the reversal sign headwind. And if all the lists are made, we take the shot just as price tilts down again, allowing for a low risk entry and book profit somewhere down the line. In case of exhausting market, we wait for a stock to suddenly drop, find support and then tilt up we again take a low risk entry point. For different market conditions, only one trade setup for each, very different in terms of market and trade setup and the indicators we use, but few things in common, all of them use low risk entry point, whether it is short, as in this case, headwind short trade, here go with flow long, box short, box long, or bounce long trade here. All of them are trying to catch the low, buy low, sell high, or short high, cover low. And all of them, because we use a checklist which is unambiguous and aligns multiple factors to our trade, and then on top of that, combine sector industry broad market with that, all of them become high probability trades as well. Continuing with the topics. Now these concepts of swing trade, long-term investment day trades, they are applied every day by Q traders. And as I mentioned, sometimes they are shared in traders community. So I will not go through the trades in this session, but you can access the community and go through many trades not only the ones I showed in the result page, not only the ones in the slideshow, results slideshow for USA and India, but there are trades continuously being posted by me and sometimes by other traders. There are long-term investments like GOGL. It's a marine freight company. It was identified in September, 2016 at the right edge of the chart. And it was posted at that time. It's not that it was posted now. And by now, March 7, 2017, it has made 87% profit. I have to also say that in superior profit way, we don't probably wait for the stock to go to 87% profit without booking anything. Probably we would have booked some profit already along the way and put a trailing stop, again using the Q hop off template, that would have made the trade risk-free from that point onward. That is superior profit way of trading. Taking money off the table and then letting profit run on remaining position for long-term investment and also for swing trading, day trading sometimes. We also caught the top of Tesla recently. In fact, a detailed blog was also posted while the trade was being taken, you can look at it at education blog. When we posted the blog, just after Tesla earnings, though there were several analysts and probably very famous analyst, Mr. Baird, raised price target from 368 
from 338 to 368, that's a very large increase in price target. We actually looked at Q charts. This is a pendulum template, by the way. We looked at some fundamental data also in this case. As I mentioned, we like to align more and more edges in our favor. For swing trade, it is not essential, but no harm looking at it. And in this case, we looked at Tesla Q4 revenue and earnings, looked at the weekly longer term chart, and of course, the weekly backdrop and the daily hop on, based on which the trade setup checklist is created. And we decided to have a bearish view and Tesla actually went down enough from that point to make a successful swing short trade. And all the trade ideas are shared before the result is known. One thing we don't like in superior profit is to show charts in the middle and tell, wow, we could have bought the stock here. We only share trades that were in the traders community, analyzing it at the right edge of the chart, like JPM has been posted right now as of last Friday. You could actually go to community I will explain how to access the community, but let's enter the community for now. And you will see that I posted JP Morgan go with flow short trend following trade just before market close actually. I was analyzing it on 17th March, Friday, I posted it. And similarly, there are other trades in the community. So that is our way of trading analyzing stocks at the right edge, sharing with, with fellow traders in the community and following up with the result, whether it is making profit or making loss and remaining disciplined along the way. There is a question uh, on option trading, how we decide strike price on option trades. I, I will try to quickly answer that the standard guideline, there may be creative ways or risky ways of trading option, but the standard guideline and for swing trading is to use strike price that is just in the money. So if I go to the whiteboard again, if the current stock price is say at 50, which is happens to be a round number, and we are thinking of, okay, I shouldn't draw this. If the stock price is at 50 and we are thinking of taking a swing long trade, now it is 19th March, right? So we, we let's say we will take at least 19th April expiry. Now there may not be 19th April expiry. The exact expiry should be third week of month. that is 14th April, but that doesn't give us enough time. We may take the 21st April expiry for swing trading. So we'll take 21 April expiry for swing trading. If the stock is at 50, we'll buy 50 call. If the stock is at 50.5, we'll buy 50 call like that in the money as close to the money as possible now if the price was not 50.5 but 50.1 we can take 50 if it is 49.9 we can also take 50 strike we don't have to take 49 strike that is the standard guideline just in the money and enough time for swing trading for day trading, it will be different. And for long-term investment, if we are using option, uh, there are different uh, expiry and different strategies that can be used. Let me go back to the desktop sharing. So there are examples of long-term investment, swing trade, many more, and some day trades also. 
so not so many long term investment because it takes time to see how it is working out not so many day trades also because it takes time to take a snapshot post it etc by the time the trade might have already worked out but there are examples of trades like that we'll cover them in subsequent sessions while explaining the entry and exit mechanism of those trades so in terms of trading resources we have put together the broad market analysis sector industry analysis you can access them from the home menu broad market sector industry analysis and then to learn about q trading system there are many blogs but we have collated a number of blogs for you in the home page at the top of the home page each covering a distinct aspect of q trading so how to one example of using long term investment using swing trade in different market conditions using e mini futures for day trading using gap trading in this case using etf qqq forex trading using sector and industry analysis in this case for pharma and then another case for coal mining you may look at these blogs to have a look at a trader's mind uh, for example my mind how i was entering and exiting the trades under these situations then we have a weekly market round up the one was the last one was uh, the saturday the, the, the day just passed in this weekly market round ups we analyze the market only with live system there is no powerpoint there is absolutely no powerpoint used in the weekly market round up uh, for about one and half hours we look at live market broad market analysis sector industry analysis looking for potential trades for next week and also reviewing some of the trades that were shared in traders community during the week since last class you can register for them by the way there is also a webinar in collaboration with metastock that is on this wednesday i will go through about 10 trades and those are the only trades that were posted in a particular forum no pick and choose i'll go through all of them and explain how i decided to enter and exit and of course we have education center to learn more you can go to education menu and go through the videos books all the blogs in more detail other than the ones i showed on home page like classes now let's have a look at the community i want to explain how to access and use the community and you can uh, go back to the community menu from home page and look at this series of slides on how to access and use the community but let me quickly go through that now first time you go to the community you will see the login and register button for maximum access it is best to register and login you may register with email id or facebook id if you use email id then a email validation is required you may look for the mail in your inbox if you don't find you may check the spam folder if you have not logged in to the forum then you may not be able to view certain content or download attachments in certain forum now once you log in by default it will come to the topics view and let me go through the different aspects of the topic view you will have your your if you don't upload the image it will be you anyway and under the drop down you can log out go to your profile and settings when you come in you will find some topics that you have read and some you have not read if you see too many topics you don't have time to read 
then you may click this button here to mark all topics as read so that only the topics coming new from that time onward will show up with a bold case. Otherwise, they will show up with a normal case. Now, by default, it comes to the topics view and it can be sorted by new. New displays the topics in the order of their initial post. If you click on latest, it will display the topics in order of their latest reply date time. Now for each of the topic, it mentions where it was posted. For example, the JP Morgan trade was posted in trade ideas. This financial stock bearish trade happened to be Bank of America actually, also posted during the weekend as of Friday's chart analysis. It was posted in USA stock signal forum. Again, market did not move after NFP interest rate. This was posted in trade ideas. And another trader, oh, these last three posts were made by me, and another trader, MindZap, posted a trade in India market, undergraduates club. And then there is a special offer. Now, trade ideas, quiz, client service forums, like FAQ, support, announcement, special offer, these are visible to public. So you will, you will be able to see this topic on JP Morgan. You will be able to see market didn't move. You will be able to see the special offer. Now signal topics, which are in signal forum, they are visible only to subscribing members. But I always say, if you are already using Q system, you don't need to subscribe. The subscribed forums only explains the trades in a bit more detail using few more charts from Q system or some fundamental data from Zenith. If you are using Metastock, Zenith, and or Q system, you don't need to subscribe. You can do the same analysis yourself. Just go through the education material and see the trades in community, attend our webinars. You should be able to trade as anybody else does, or maybe even better, because the mechanism is very easy and unambiguous to use. Now, last kind of forum is the graduates club. This is a member only, an invitation only club. From time to time, we invite serious Q system traders to this club. Once you are a member of this club, you can share trade ideas with and solicit input from fellow traders and also benefit from and respond to trade ideas shared by them. They may be from all different, many different countries trading many different instruments. It's not only to get trade ideas or share trade ideas, but also to keep ourselves disciplined by taking trades, sharing trades in a disciplined way. Now, this is the topics view. If we go to the categories view, I will not go through the entire chart, entire uh, slide, but you can see the different categories are shown. And against each category, you can see how many topics are unread. Again, you can mark all the topics read if there are too many and you don't have time. You can access your profile settings here. And you have, if you have authority access, right access, you can start a new topic. You can drill down to a specific category, quiz playground in this case. This is the category, by the way, where from time to time, we post quizzes. It is accessible by public. You can take the quiz and try to hone your trading expertise. For all the categories, once you are into them, you can click the plus sign to follow the category. If you follow a category, you will get a summary mail daily basis showing the new posts. So you don't have to go and log into the forum every day it will be summarized and emailed to you. Another easy way and probably more real time way to access the new ideas shared in community is to follow Superior Profits social network, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, YouTube. All the ideas when they are posted in community, the ones from Superior Profit, 
they are also posted in Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at the same time. So for example, the JP Morgan trade was shared in the Twitter forum. At the same time, it was shared in the community. So the Twitter will actually link to the topic in the forum, and you can see more detail of that. So that is how you can access and make the best use of the community trades, learn from them, and also share your trade ideas when you are part of the graduates club and help others. Let me look at the Q&A panel. Okay, there was a, a question for USA citizen, is it possible to buy stocks and options in India, Australia market under my name? Yes, in, in many global countries, markets, it is possible. Specifically for India, it may be difficult, but Australia, Canada, uh, European market, Singapore even, uh, it is very much possible. You may contact a broker that allows that. For example, I am resident of Singapore. So I travel to visa often, uh, to USA often, and uh, I go to India also. I trade in all these countries. So if I am able to do that, you should be able to do that as well. It's a, it was a question from an anonymous viewer. Yes, yes, yes. Any market other than USA. If I can do, you should be able to do, but of course you need to check your specific situation and contact a broker that allows uh, you to trade in these markets. Again, specifically for India market, it may be a bit difficult. Yes, not only ADR, you can actually trade stocks. There was a question, is it ADR or stocks in respective exchanges? To be very specific, I trade stocks in India market, Singapore market, USA market at the same time. So I am guessing if I'm able to do, you should be able to do the same, but you must check with your uh, own, own broker. Okay, let's continue. So we looked at multiple resources that Superior Profit has put together, and that is everything that a profitable swing trader or long-term investor or day trader needs, Q indicators that are unambiguous and easy to use, distinct and unambiguous trade setups with checklists for each of them, and then broad market, sector, industry, and sometimes even fundamental analysis. I use Zenith for that to add more and more edges to our Q technical analysis. We have strong focus on learning to trade profitably. You can access all that learning center material from the education center, from the blog, from the classes, and of course, from the trading community for serious traders. Access to all the training materials is open to public, free for all, and dedicated to the serious traders in each of us. Now, before our next session, if you are not already using Q system, I would like you to watch the videos in the suggested sequence in our education center. We have not only posted the key videos, but also suggested a watch sequence. And similarly for the books, we didn't only list them there, we also suggested the reading sequence. So I hope you will make good use of that and hopefully complete this before our next session, maybe sometime next week and at minimum go through the blogs that we collected for you at the home page. There are many other blogs in the blog page, but at least go through the ones we have collected at the home page. Each of them addresses a different material, different subject of trading. And then of course, study a few of the trade ideas from community. You can go to result page, look at the earlier trades 
or you can go to the community directly and look at some of the newer trades or probably both. Write down your queries, attend the weekly market roundup if you can. If you cannot, then you can watch them in our YouTube channel. If the recording is good enough quality, then we post it into the YouTube channel. Of course, it is best to attend the live session so you can ask your own questions. In this week, we just recently started recording. In this week, the recording was okay, so we could post it. If you didn't attend yesterday's session, you could watch it here. This is as of this, the latest market roundup. So you will see how we look at the market at the right edge of the chart. and join our next webinar. The next one is on Wednesday. If you go back to our homepage, live class, you will see for the Wednesday's class, the link is not active yet, but it should be active sometime by Monday or maybe even today. So you may please revisit and register for this session. It is in collaboration with Metastro. I thank you once again for taking time to join today's session and definitely I look forward to seeing you in next sessions and trade profitably together. Thank you and have a great weekend.